and welcome to my territory. Feel free to stay a while. Leo, hello. I hope everybody is doing well. All right, Leo, we're going to go ahead and get into your full moon Virgo reading. I swear, as I'm getting down to the end, I'm doing something a little different this time around, and I'm kind of moving in the reverse. Like, I'm working like day to dark, and I swear, like, it's like the readings are getting more and more like, <laughs> you know? But anyway, Leo, um, we're going to go ahead and hop into your message. I'm going to try not to waste like too much time. I got, look, I got Sage going. <laughs> it's going, I got the uh, Palo Santo, the Codet, okay? We're going to get up in your reader, all right, and see what Spirit has for you. Full Moon and Virgo messages for you, okay? Oh, take what resonates, leave the rest is general and collective. I just read the cards, and sometimes you just be like, what did I just see, you know? <sighs> Take what resonates, leave the rest, Leo. Ooh. Ah. Mm -mm -mm. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestor Spirit, guys, those from the highest white light who walk with me every day. What messages do we have for Leo? Archangel Michael, please protect me as I channel these messages for Leo. Block any interference that stops their messages from coming through. You got love. I'm going to get one more just because that one didn't really fly out it's like my hand missed it but that's good you got a good you got a good one okay that's the first time love has come out today leo awesome okay so something is in matters of the heart the emotions the heart string okay what else do we have for leo loneliness um, I believe Scorpio got that. I don't know. I don't even know at this point. Service. Aquarius got that. I do know that. Um, yeah. But anyway. Let's see. A couple of people got loneliness, though. Let's see. I believe Cancer got it, too. But let's just get into the message. What do we have? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, Spirit, God, those from the highest white light who walk with me every day. What do we have for Leo? Full Moon and Virgo messages for Leo. What do we have? Archangel Michael, thank you for your protection. Protect me as I channel these messages for Leo. A time to give rather than take new moon in Virgo. Some of you could be dealing with a Virgo. You have a highly aspect that a new start is coming. New moon. Okay. Somebody definitely, definitely got that. Okay. Uh, I believe it was Pisces. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's get into it. So there's definitely some kind of reset here. Okay. What do we have, Spirit? What do we have? What do we have? What do we have? What do we have for Leo? Please and thank you. What do we have for Leo? All right, Leo. Let's go ahead and get into it. Will of Fortune. First car out. So karma is at play. All right. Let's see. What goes around comes around. Energy. Ace of Cups. Yes. This is good. So some of you are getting new love. It's faded to come in. All right. You have the Queen of Wands. Okay. The Six of Swords. Wow. With the Eight of Cups. So some of you have made, to, or you're taking the initiative to, to walk away from something that no longer serves you. Okay. Um, whatever this is. So it could be in matters of the heart. Some of you could just want new love. You're just leaving something behind here is what it gives me. Some of you are just aligning with someone new. Okay. So there could have been, you could have been aligned with someone else and now you're aligning with someone new you got the four of swords so somebody could just you know somebody could not be feeling the best all right what we got for leo yeah somebody could be sick here or something like that but whatever this is coming in that's new for you you pray for this okay some of you are uh, spiritually guided and led you have the three of pentacles here 
You have the Empress. Wow. Okay. So something can have something to do with a collaboration of some sort. You got the High Priestess and the Hierophant right here. Wow. With Three of Cups. So some of you are going to birth like a new project with someone. Oh, nice. Like I'm getting to like some of you could be getting like your own like um, like stage. I don't know what that can mean for you, but I feel like something is like a level up for you. Whatever this collaboration is, like it's a whole nother level, you know. Or this is what you're being guided towards. You got the nine of cups. It's like somebody's been following their, their direction. They've been doing what they need to do. Yeah. That's what this is. They've been following their direction. You have the page of wands. Okay. So you're fated to get this message. Okay. And it's something that you're going to love. Like you could be working with someone. Like maybe you do something in the creative arts. For some of you, something could be have something to do with you doing something in beauty. Okay. Oh, you got the Ten of Swords. Okay. What do we have for Leo? Ooh, wee. What do we have for Leo? The Two of Swords. With the Seven of Swords. Wow. So, of course, you know, karma is at play. So, you got two different routes here. Looks like somebody may have chose wrong. Yeah. That's what it's looking like. And then it, it also looks like, you know, something could have been like, it's like someone's being eliminated here. Like, they're having, they're, they're, somebody's being eliminated due to cheating or um, trying to get away with something, something coming to light, something coming to the surface, something changes everything. Okay. Seven of swords, six of wands, death card, hangman, hermit. Yeah, that's what this is. Some of you could just be going from a collabor collaboration, working with others to working by yourself. Yeah. So it looks like somebody took the wrong turn here with someone. Um, they followed, the, you know, the wrong path or something like that. Yeah. Somebody doesn't see something coming though. In a good way for some people and in a bad way for somebody else. Yeah, with this Ten of Swords out here. That's an abrupt stop. A harsh ending. Um, yeah, that's what it looks like. I'm kind of getting that childbirth thing again we were getting last time, Leo. Well, that wasn't even a Leo reading. That was a collective reading. Yeah, where I, I it was a lot of um, Leo readings, though. Like, it was a lot of Leo energy coming out in it. But that's kind of the, the... So, something could have something to do with someone who's pregnant. They could have a Leo highly aspected. For some people, because I mean, you got the Empress out here, the Four of Swords with the Page of Wands, but so there's something that could be going on with like a, a childbirth or something like that. Yeah, let me get one on the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune for Leo, Ace of Swords. Okay, so truth and clarity, something that cannot be denied. Wow. So some of you are y'all have been waiting on whatever this is to come in. Listen, the it, the proof is in the pudding. That's the, that's what this is. This is nothing but pentacles. Yeah. So now it's like something, you know, some some of you are just getting what you what you deserve, what you work for, what you putting in all this work for. Like some of you are going to be able to live like a comfortable lifestyle if that's what you desire. Of course, everybody desires to be comfortable. But look, on the flip side of the Wheel of Fortune, you got the moon, you got the four cups, the temperance. It's time to go. But you still, y'all are getting like real true love, Leo. Like you got to just put yourself where you go in this. Just know that stuff can be seen. That's what this is. Like something is just... It's like some kind of veil is being removed. Like somebody could see clearly. Like see clearly something about someone, something. Okay, let me get one please on this Empress. Your only majors is the Wheel of Fortune and the Empress. So 
something else, something to do with the Libra or Taurus, somebody's mother, somebody who's pregnant. Okay. The Empress, clarify this Empress card for me, please. For Leo, what's going on? Clarify this Empress. Look at that. <sighs> so something is over here. You're getting some kind of justice in regards to whatever this was with like a family member. It's a huge betrayal, okay? It is. This is something that somebody took the initiative to do. Somebody like jump started this bad idea, whatever this is. And they this is someone too who like misleads people. Something that has something to do with someone who misleads others. Yeah, or someone leaves a lot leads a life that's misleading. Let me get one. Give me give, give me one more on this Empress. Yeah, somebody was misled, like intentionally misled the Empress. Or they intentionally mislead the Empress. Mm -mm, look at this. Queen of Swords. Lies. Woo. Look at this. Yeah. They do it for money. They do it for gain. Clarify this Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords is clarifying the Ten of Swords. Wow. There's two hard, harsh endings out here. Wow. Look at this. Wow. Ooh, wee. So whoever was working with someone behind the scenes, whatever this is, whatever this could be. Somebody could be using divination tools the wrong way, or this would be somebody, this would be something like somebody reading energy that they're not authorized to use, or paying for readings, acting like they're somebody else. It's 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 that kind of thing. Yeah. Or somebody could just be a false reader. Yeah. Whoever this is. So this could actually be someone who reads tarot. Let me get one on the um the uh, ace of cups but this would be someone who intentionally misleads others they just say a whole bunch of stuff and it affects communities of people like it affects a lot of people it's actually three endings here yeah mm -hmm. this is someone who does a service they're leaving it's gonna be a bad ending Yeah. Ace of Cups. Clarify this Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups. Six of Cups. So yeah, this is past energy. Mm-hmm. Some of you are getting a past life soulmate though. Mm-hmm. And you're gonna be so comfortable with this person. You're gonna be happy with this person. Yeah, they're just gonna bring you so much peace, whoever this is. They are. It's karmically meant to happen. They see you. They see you. You may not see them, but they see you. Yeah, but somebody likes what you stand for here. They see you. They see you sending this Empress energy. They see you taking charge. They see you not like this is like I said, the 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 Queen of Wands is somebody who's very confident. And and, and if you got the Queen of Wands with the Queen of Swords with the Empress, this would be someone who's very confident in what they say. Okay, now for somebody else, like I said, this this ending, one of these endings right here, is going to be because somebody is confident in their lies that they say. They speak it with so much conviction to like, oh, yeah, and then this, and then this, and then this, and it's a whole bunch of crap. Yeah. That's what this is. And somebody here, somebody else here, this could be someone that's just an older person in somebody's family, older sister, older brother, older anybody, or cousin, friend, somebody you consider family or something like that. And they could be a little older. They're a little bit, they're supposed to be a little bit more mature, but they're just older in age, whoever this person is. There could be an emphasis on like a 10 year gap. If it's not a mother, something's going on with that person. Okay. So they could just fall ill or something like that. And then you have just two abrupt stops like out of nowhere. Yeah. And this could be 
This is like with the three of pentacles. Anyway, it's like whoever somebody running off with, whoever their partner is, it's like that's going to be the one who like, whoever somebody is dating is going to be the one to lay them out. We already, you know, we already covered that. But listen, you got you got wish fulfillment coming in, okay? Like I said, um, it, it looks like it was a storm here, all right? With these three endings out here, it looks like it was definitely a storm here. Um, but you better believe that, you know, eventually justice and karma will actually catch up to the mess, okay? Although this is your full moon in Virgo reading, um, you know, just know this is what's fated, fated to come. And the Ace of Swords is clarifying that, that this is going to be someone's karma. Exactly the way it's spoken right here. Okay. But anyway, I'm going to leave it where it is. Okay. That is your full moon and Virgo reading, Leo. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Bye.